The following report contains some disturbing images. These are the men and women who are in Ukraine to monitor if a peace deal brokered by Russia and the West is holding. But not long after we arrive in this ruined village, even with the presence of the monitors, the firing starts. Amid the confusion, a man lies injured. Take this off. Is that a wound? Yes, children. Yes, you are. We're not going to lose him. We're not. A reporter for Russian military TV, who we believe triggered a booby trap when he walked behind an abandoned shop. So the fighting has broken out again here after a few explosions. And what the team are now trying to do is get this casualty out of this village to a hospital. This is territory controlled by pro-Russian fighters, who is firing is often unclear. But that it happens when an observer mission is here in the village offers little hope. Hope faded long ago for the handful of elderly residents who have stayed put. Lilia lives in her basement with no gas, electricity or water. We just want peace, she tells us, so our children can come home. But in recent days, these pro-Russian troops have seen more fighting. Real negotiations for peace can only begin when the firing stops. Tom Burridge, BBC News, in Shirokina, eastern Ukraine.